We feel optimistic. Our producers continue to advance and thrive, and so we're feeling optimistic about the future. Hello and welcome to the State of Soy. I'm Aaron Putzi. Today I'm visiting with Kevin Stiles. Kevin serves as the Executive Director of North Central Poultry as well as the Iowa Egg Council. And Kevin, obviously a lot going on in terms of the relevance between soybean production and the fortunes of the egg and the poultry industries. Maybe start by giving us an overall kind of a state of the egg and the poultry industries in Iowa. Well, Aaron, as we kick off 2023, we're certainly hoping for a bright uh, future and a better year uh, for poultry and egg producers here in the state. Uh, in 2022, we saw the advent of uh, high path avian influenza here in Iowa, as well as across the country. Um, our producers did a terrific job of managing their way through that issue, but we were impacted. We saw uh, a number of poultry and egg farms impacted here in Iowa, as well as across the Midwest and throughout the country. That's probably something that was a little different than it was in 2015, is it was more of a national issue this year, but we also saw significant impacts here in Iowa. We're hopeful and, and appreciate that uh, the job that our producers do from a biosecurity standpoint, we think that greatly reduced the impact uh, that we saw here in Iowa, and I wanna give uh, credit to those producers for those efforts. Kevin, the Iowa soybean farmer is aware of the relevance and importance of the egg and the poultry industries to their business. Maybe walk through some of the numbers. Well, we know uh, that laying hens here in Iowa, as well as across most of the rest of the country, consume about a half a bushel of soybean each year. Uh, and that equals somewhere close to 25 million bushels of soybean uh, that are consumed by our poultry and egg industry here in Iowa. Uh, we also have a growing broiler industry here in the state, and so we're seeing, of course, soybean being consumed on those broiler farms as well. What's leading to and, and helping drive, Kevin, the, the industry's success? I know that innovations within the industry and of the farmer uh, is a big piece of that. Yeah, we are so proud to work for uh, our poultry and egg producers here in the state. They certainly are among the most innovative in the country. They are taking steps every day to improve efforts in ventilation, in nutrition, in lighting, all of those things to both help make the bird uh, a better producing bird, but also enhance the production uh, environment on those farms. And let's talk about the product, of course. It's, uh, it's a great source of protein and I know one that you're a big believer in. And, and what, are the, uh, what are the benefits of incorporating uh, eggs and poultry in, into one's diet? Well, I think uh, there certainly is not a better product uh, in, the, in the market today. When you go to the grocery store, nearly everyone has eggs in their basket. They recognize the nutritional benefits, both from a protein standpoint, but also all of the other nutrients that feed into eye health, cognitive function, all of these things that are being so much talked about in today's media. But eggs are also on trend because they're certainly clean label, uh, they're easy to prepare, and certainly a, a product that everyone loves and enjoys eating. And lastly, what's the future look like for the industries, Kevin? I think the, the future is bright. We are certainly seeing the consumers telling us today that they enjoy eating eggs. Some of the myths of 20 years ago around cholesterol, we've moved on from that. People recognize that uh, eggs are a healthy part of your diet, and so we feel optimistic. Our producers continue to advance and thrive, and so we're feeling optimistic about the future. So as we roll into a new year, there's a lot of reason for optimism within two industries that are critical to the future of the soybean industry, and it's certainly the farmers and those involved in both the egg and the poultry industries. Reporting for the State of Soy and the Iowa Soybean Association, I'm Aaron Putzi. Farming is a competitive business, and you need equipment you can count on every single day. That's why for nearly 90 years, farmers have entrusted their grain handling to Brandt Agricultural Products. Brandt's full line of hardworking conveyors, augers, grain carts, vacs, grain bagging equipment, and tillage equipment are made to deliver the competitive edge you need to lead the field and are manufactured here in the USA. 
For more information on our full line of products, visit brandt.ca today.